What's going down, tech fans? I'm creating this video to give a basic understanding of how you can DDU your display driver and making sure that you uninstall it properly from your OS. Now, you can utilize either with this tutorial of NVIDIA, Intel, or AMD, and it'll show you how to uninstall download as well as get it set up in order for you to utilize that program so my name is mac you're the macgyver 7 channel and today we're going to be doing a special of how to do the ultimate clean install i've done other clean installs before where you can utilize just the software from either nvidia or amd but today we're going to be taking it a step farther and showing you the ultimate way to clean your gpu as well as your pc alongside with it so let's go ahead and hop into it we're going to go into my old pc First and foremost, more than likely you're gonna to wanna to utilize a VPN anytime you're downloading this stuff. This is gonna be through Guru 3D, pretty reputable for as far as downloading stuff. And it can be confusing. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean by this real fast. When you jump into it, it's a little bit a little confusing. You're like, hey, what do I download? And you'll say advertising start, don't click this. This is obviously an ad from Google, surprisingly enough, how tricky. Uh, but just go all the way down to the bottom and there is some support functions for install. And I'm gonna show you how to utilize it in just a second. But you're gonna click your um, native portion of wherever you are in the, like, the country. That's gonna take you over here and then you're gonna be able to download it. One thing to point out is it may really quickly just tell you you can't download it. Just go ahead and override that. Then you'll be able to get the zip and then I'll show you what we need to do from there. Now, personally, I would say say show in folder. It should bring everything directly up here. You're going to go ahead and hit extract all. It's going to say yes. You're going to do your thing and you're going to jump into here. We're going to go a little bit farther. Now, there is a download from Guru. Again, a lot of this stuff is a little bit confusing, but it's very simple. You're just gonna click the very first one in there and it's gonna ask you, do you wanna run this? Again, we're gonna say yes. A situation, it should be able to set it up. And then we're gonna have to go into it in a very special mode um, in order to run this. And it's really simple to do and I'll show everyone how to do that once we get this completely installed. Now you'll notice it added another folder and that's where we wanna go. And then you'll see where the uninstaller is. Now, if you instantly run to this, it's gonna tell you, oh, hey, yes, do you wanna use this? But then it's also gonna tell you directly that you should be running it in a safe mode, um, depending on where you want. And that's really what you wanna do in order to kind of have these things typically. Um, it's also gonna go through all these other things you don't really wanna change. And right there, it's just it's not detected inside of a safe mode. So if you're in this like I am, you're very simply gonna just go ahead and shut down everything and go back to your stuff. And then you're going to press shift on your keyboard. You're going to press the power button. You're going to go to reset and we're going to end up in a whole new atmosphere. And I'll show you what I mean when we get there. And voila, we are now in the technological world of tutorials. So go ahead and you're going to scroll down to, to troubleshoot. Once you select that, you can go to advanced options and we're gonna be going down to startup settings. It should very instantly tell you the settings it's gonna allow you to go into. Hit reset. It's not going to do anything else except for take you back to an option where you physically can choose. Now, the non-signal, that's just OBS being a little bit of a punk, but let's get to that screen real fast, and it's really fast. So let's go ahead and go four. We're going to go ahead and enable that safe mode, and we're going to get back to the screen. All right, now with us back in safe mode, what we're going to go ahead and do is click the non-zip folder, go back into the DDU versus the version that it is. We're going to click on the DDU installer you don't have to do anything it should be very simple except for picking your video card now the cool thing about this motherboard was this is my original motherboard i've never ddu'd it um and it's been through so many catalysts of like me changing stuff now i do a pretty good job with clean installs but this will be the ultimate clean install and as you can see right over here we're gonna have to select our type so today we're gonna be doing a gpu you can do the audio i thought that was really interesting too uh, especially with one of the um uh, questions that was logged on the comment board and other ones that were having a HDMI audio issue. I was a little bummed to hear that this didn't fix it, but sometimes it can. But for today, we're going to go ahead and select NVIDIA since we're going to be doing my 1060 Extreme um, on my um, lovely Intel rig. Um, but, you know, we don't have any Intel cards. We don't have any AMD cards, but these are two options you can select if you do have those applicable GPUs that you're installing for the first time. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to select this now what you want to do as well make sure before you start this process and you get this far in the safe mode you want to download the driver directly from the site and let me show you what i mean 
That way when you're installing it, you can do a very quick install. And for most people that don't like uh, the variant pass standard with the DCH where it's connected to Windows, you can very selectively get that option right here. And if you just connect your Ethernet cable, it works out really well and you don't have that watchdog element that's directly in there. So we're gonna go ahead and search directly and we're gonna download the most current driver and we're gonna be matching these up with benchmarks to see if it does make a huge difference on my card. So let's go ahead and get that installed. But before we install, let's go ahead and go over the list of what you can be choosing from. I highly recommend you do the restart. You can do the clean and shut down if you're doing a clean install of a brand new GPU, which is pretty nice. Um, but I would say definitely do the, the reset. So we're going to go ahead and do this. It's going to go through its process. It's going to detect everything, take everything out, and then it's going to pretty much shut itself down. It's pretty nice. Like You don't have to worry about it. Once it gets back into that, then all you have to do is just install the driver fresh and we're pretty good and I'll show you what I mean. Once this is all completely done and it resets, it's pretty simple, it shouldn't take more than maybe a few minutes. Cool, and like that it does its thing. Now that we're back to the working PC, you should be greeted with a very basic driver where it's just basically, I'm gonna display stuff but it's not up to your native resolution that you really want. So this is gonna be something that's gonna be really cool. So let's go ahead and select your driver and get to work. And like I mentioned before, you can disconnect the internet when it comes to this thing so it doesn't install Windows in the background. It tends to have a really pesky way of doing that when even if you download the standard, it will still try to install the Windows. But if you do it without the Ethernet cable in in the process, it will not be affected at all. It is the workaround. It's pretty cool. Um, but we'll go ahead and fast forward. We'll be looking at some benchmarks next to see what ends up happening. And this is pretty much it for what goes down. It's just like the other clean installs that I've done before. You can, but this is a fresh start. So you can can just hit the um, optional portion which I'll show in a second. Now personally myself even though we are doing this completely clean we can even do the one step above that and just do perform a clean install on top of a clean install so if there's any I guess remnant on that card at all which it should already be gone this is just an extreme way of doing it uh, but I figured why not we'll combine all the two and the same thing is going to happen with AMD or Intel pretty much once you're installing it it will be given an option maybe a little bit different AMD at the very end they'll ask you if they want to collect data which I think is a little wrong they shouldn't is that is still something that's going to take a small tiny bit of performance it's nothing super major it's not like you're going to like lose a whole fps or something like that but for me personally i would just like my gpu to run natural like a wild horse on the field just running around free and happy with it installed and everything already tested, we can see that there's drastic improvements with the DDU. So you really want to do this if you've been switching out GPUs or for some weird reason a driver's been acting weird and you've done a clean install and it doesn't work. There is a lot of benefits to doing a DDU. Let's go ahead and bring up the scores for Time Strike and Fire Strike and we'll see exactly what happens with these. Fire Strike with DirectX 11 straight out the gate shows drastic improvements and this is just on an old school car this is a 1060 nothing special and you can see that the driver to driver with the ddu working at it the performance literally leaps a lot and when i retested it it continued to get better where the score was just over 1400 now i can average about 1437 on gpu scores with time spot you do see some weird interesting things but again it still beats it it just with the hardware accelerator on, I was hoping for a better result, but it beats it by a few points. It may be something where it's like within its stretching point for DirectX 12, but with the standard, you can tell it beats the living crap out of it, which is pretty cool. Test to test, it definitely shows that utilizing a DDU for the disinstallation to the installation of your driver of choice and GPU of your choice is going to be the sure win. So hopefully this tutorial has helped out for as far as figuring out how to do a proper clean install theatrically. So you make sure that you can outroll almost everything before thinking that it's the hardware in your GPU. Um, so have a very nice day everyone. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. If you're new to the network, you can always subscribe. It's absolutely free and helps me out as a creator. Hit the like button and share, and I will see you in the future. And if you subscribe today, who knows, maybe just maybe one of these days, one of these GPU providers will just start throwing oodles of GPUs at me that I can just do more benchmarks. So you'll just have to subscribe to find out. But I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay classy, stay classy. I know, safe is just an interesting thing nowadays. That's why I say it in a funny accent. Cause you know, I feel like we should all be laughing at that and just having a fun safe time. But I'll see you guys and gals in the near future.